okay so you've checked your microamps you've cleaned the flame sensor you know if the flame sensor goes through a cabinet with a molex connector well, it should just be one wire but let's say it goes through a cabinet with a molex connector like on our ream furnace that's out there in the shop it it goes into a pin plug on the board then it goes to a molex plug on one of those pin plugs then goes through that shelf which is your burner you know that separates your blower compartment from your burner compartment goes through that shelf then it comes up and plugs into our you know the spade terminal fitting uh, on our flame sensor so you can always you know remove the flame sensor right there and remove the plug and take your meter on continuity and you know once this is removed from the board plug one side of your meter into this and then then you know hold your meter your other lead on the other side and just make sure that it's not being broke anywhere that there's no breaks in the flame sensor circuit so just you should have continuity or meter should beep you know wiggle it around make sure it's not losing continuity through through the plug through the plug that goes through or a break in the wire somewhere between the board and the actual flame sensor so I would check that then um, you can check you know just test the flame sensor itself so it's going to be a bad picture but here we got a spade terminal and we got our ceramic and then we have our actual flame sensor well you can take your meter on on uh, continuity on the flame sensor itself and put one meter lead on the spade terminal and one at the end and just kind of move it you know gently twist it and make sure it's not breaking it should beep the entire time because um, I have seen them break you know inside of the you can't see it but I've seen them break inside of the ceramic so um, you can always try that there's another thing that you can try which I can't explain why this happens but on your transformer in your furnace if it still just will not sense flame you know you're gonna have your your 120 volts coming in and your 24 volts coming out normally they're gonna be spade terminals on the uh, 24 volt side coming out so what you can do is just swap those just swap them just put put that one there and that one there whatever they're at right now just swap them and once in a while for whatever reason even though the unit's been there for 10 years sometimes when, when you swap those and like I said, once again, I'm not, this is, I'm not extremely technical. I've just been taught this, and it's happened to me before in the field. You switch those, and all problems are fixed. It stops. It starts sensing the flame like it's supposed to. So all, you can always try that. Um, one other thing is polarity. Polarity, it's going to give you the same uh, problem as a flame sense. You know, it's not going to sense the flame if there's a polarity issue. Um, so what polarity means to me and should be it's a good enough explanation for anybody is that um, From the breaker panel where that circuit is is coming to your furnace, you know, you've got your breaker which is tied in and ultimately ends up at your furnace and Then you've got a neutral so you got usually a bar in your breaker panel and your the other wire going to the furnace is just tied to one of those neutrals well those have to stay neutral has to stay neutral all the way to the furnace and the power 120 volts has to stay power all the way to the furnace if those get crisscrossed it's going to give you a polarity code or it's going to act like it's not sensing flame so you can always try swapping those two especially if you've got like a a um, a pigtail a you know just a power cord that you're using that's plugged into an outlet uh, it's a bad picture of an outlet but let's say you you just got a power cord that's plugged into to an outlet well you may have to swap where you tied those two together just swap them and that will change reverse the polarity sometimes after if a unit's been installed for quite some time and they come in, you know, an electrician comes in, does some electrical work, they can reverse those wires somewhere. And the board is sensitive and it recognizes that. So you gotta swap them and to make it work again. Also, 
um, when it comes to flame rectification and the board and it comes to polarity, you've got to make sure, a good way to check that, because you're also going to have a ground. So you have a ground somewhere that, you know, comes into your, your furnace. So a grounding issue could be the problem and why it's not sensing the flame. So the first thing I need you to do is take those three wires. You know, you've got a ground. You've got usually a black, which is normally 120 volts. And then you've got a white, which is normally um, neutral. So you're going to take those three wires in your furnace. You've got to shut the power off, where it, find the power source, whether it's in the breaker or what, whatever. Then test it with your meter so you don't grab onto a hot wire and get shocked. you got to be careful. But once you know there's no power going to it, um, separate those wires carefully so they're not touching any metal. And you can test, test them with your meter once you turn power back on. So separate them. Then you're going to test. You're going to go from... Um, ground to 120 volts to you know your, your hot side and you should show you should show 120 volts then you should go to the 120 and the neutral and you should show 120 volts and here's the thing when you go from neutral to ground you should show less than 10 volts so remember that less than 10 volts if you show more than 10 volts you've got some interference on that circuit and that will that will cause issues with the board and it's going to think polarity or it's not going to sense the flame so that's extremely important you want to check that before you call around to a supply house or anything if you check all of this stuff and it's still not sensing the flame you know chances are it's probably a control board where the board is just not allowing it to sense for some reason so you may have to change the board um, but I wanted to cover those things. Also, on a package unit, um, if there is no flame sensor, but it is hot surface ignition and it does sense flame, but there is no what they call just a remote flame sensor, a, a sensor that's by itself, then it's going to sense the flame through the hot surface igniter. So, oftentimes, you know, if if that's the case, it lights and it shuts off, but there's actually no flame sensor, but it acts like it's then try changing the igniter. Once you replace the igniter, it should start working. Um, it's always, if you do all of this stuff and it's still not working, you probably have a grounding issue. So, um, in that, if that's the case, we're gonna go buy a ground rod from a supply house or, or a hardware store. Usually, you know, they're six foot long or whatever. You cut it to whatever you need, but you're gonna have to go ground, uh, pound that into the ground and then run a grounding wire straight from that ground to the furnace so um, If you do all of this stuff and, and none of that ha none of that works then That's what you can try now I've also had and I'll mention one time here is that I've had a package unit before like a commercial light commercial package unit where it didn't have a separate ground rod and it is or didn't have a separate uh, flame sensor if it doesn't have a separate flame sensor it's sensing you know it's got to be sensing through the the hot surface igniter so if you have an issue with that you can always change um, for one you want to check your voltage make sure at your transformer you know transformers normally have a 220 and a 240 so you want to make sure check test your voltage coming into your unit and see what you have and make sure the transformer is set to the right voltage then you know if that doesn't work you can always try swapping your your high line voltage it's normally spade terminals you can try swapping those um, and see if that doesn't help sense the flame and and your low voltage terminals so every so often we get into a weird situation with flame sense anything past this then i'm going to get on the phone with my service representative but once you go through all this i'm sure you're going to get it fixed